36. Yeah, I know we've already done these, but uh, it's income. We have a lot of fertilizer. Actually, I'm going to have to fill the tanks up because I know this is. I know we're going to use more than what we've got loaded. So again, we'll run from this side because oh, brakes. Oh, is that one's full? Um, crazy. Let's try that again and fill the back one. I think that's basically one litre past the front tank being full. There we go, and we are loading from the left one. And gone. Back up a tiny bit more. And reload from hopefully the front one. Yes. Yeah, so this setup has what's it, 700 litres more liquid than our hardy sprayer and it has a couple of hundred more than the coon sprayer so uh, and if I'm understanding my agriculture right you don't want to spray when it's raining because it just gets washed away. But with fertilizer, it's kind of a plan to spray when the crop is wet because you know, the pores are open and it's absorbing all the water, so it'll absorb the fertilizer while it's at it. I'm guessing not such a good idea for herbicides since you <coughs> don't necessarily want the plant absorbing herbicide or not over absorbing it. A little bit tricky in this tractor because we do have the double rear. Now this time of morning I am going to guess that I need to be using wrong screen. That one. Um, I'm going to be needing to um, use GPS. Okay, if I remember rightly, you can't get into this field. You have to come in from the wood or somewhere up here. Might be wrong. Ugh. I'm getting stuck on stuff. Which means I could have come out of the uh, the exit by the churchyard for the barn for the farm. I think I go into this grass field here. This takes me to the field I want to spray. So it looks like I did a 
contract in this field at one point, the grass field. Um, let us pull along here. And go as far as close to the road as we can. That's the edge of the field, so we're going to have to back off from there quite a bit. There we can turn that almost zero degrees. That's a good, good line to take. kind of good, but uh, we can now adjust position. Okay, that's about zero degrees. But the problem is, is because the uh, crop is now so big, I can't see the ground. Plus, it's so dark, I also can't see the ground. That one, uh, auto width, 91 feet, well. And I will engage forward, turn on the spray, We'll roll and try and keep approximately the zero degree line here. Okay, uh, turn off the spray. I think that's probably good enough to set B. And turn that on. Green light is lit. Or well, the green, green dots are lit, should I say. Oh, come on. Turn on and stay on. So, yeah, I've had my side panel for probably getting on for about four years now. And some of the buttons are getting a little bit tired. Uh, it works, still works well enough, so we're good for now. So we'll spray this field, we'll go up to 37, spray that, and then all the way down to 17, do that one. We might speed up time 15. Because right now there's nothing we can do on our fields. Yeah, I could herbicide the three we planted in spring, but kind of wanted to hold off to the her on the herbicide until the grass fields had been fertilized and potentially ready to spread fertilizer on or herbicide on as well. It's the only problem with the sprayer. It's very slow. Yeah, I think last time we did this field, we drove through the hedge up by those speed signs. I do like that tractor model. 
I said, I got it off of FS UK when that was a, a mod website, but they shut that website down and changed their name to something else and became, I think, more forum style related. And uh, I didn't bother following them. The nice thing about fertilising contracts is they do make money and they don't really take an inordinate amount of time to do. Obviously with a spreader it's much quicker because the spreader travels I think about 11-12 miles an hour where the sprays are limited to 7. They don't have a spreader that's good for this this level of growth on a field. And I also don't have a lot of uh, solid fertilizer on the farm because up until just the beginning of this year, our, our fertil uh, the fertilizer used by our planter was liquid. But uh, we're switching to the Cavernland DLC for. Uh, For planters and stuff so uh, they all use solid where they use anything uh, I've got the tram lines unit which goes with that that's probably a good spreader uh, planter because it does have fertilizer and stuff seeds Confernland. I need to come out of there right now. No, I don't. I'm going to have to page back to it again. That's expensive. That's really pricey. 234, so we've got everything we need for that. It's a 12 meter, and it only does seed. And the seed tank's on the back. So I might go with this for our seeder. That one is only six meters, kind of small. Um, although it does mean I can use it with the medium sized tractors, I'm thinking, yeah, the, the class and the, um, what is it? Uh, the Challenger are our big field tractors, which we do most of our plowing and cultivating and seeding and liming with all right oops we are there start the spraying and what 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 do you mean I don't have access to that land? Okay. Seems that the edge of that field is not treated as part of the field. That was a little bit of a surprise. But we're okay. Okay, we're coming up to midday. So we will finish this field and call the stream at that point. But, uh, right now we will get this job done. And if you hadn't noticed, I have sped up time again, so we're running at times 15. The only stuff we will get done today is the three spraying contracts, 
and if there is any time towards the end of the day I may get the fent out and do the transport contract just so that we have some money coming into the farm more than anything else I guess the edge of the uh, GPS is approximately right. So the thing, boom is so big on this, it's hard to tell when the edge of the uh, GPS is actually right or not. I think that this will be the last row that will get very close to this edge. Actually, I think we'll probably cross it, so we're going to have to go manual along the edge of the field to finish this row off. And then from then onwards we'll be starting the field, for, at least from this end, manually. As soon as the boom hits the edge of the field, I'll take over. I'll take it at an angle until we reach the edge of the field. And done. Oops. Watch out for that tree. Okay. Again, we'll run with the boom along the edge of the field and start spraying now. And as we hit the GPS path for the next row, I'll engage the GPS guidance steering. so that we get the good field coverage. Um, we're basically not wasting too much fertilizer on the grass at the edge of the field at that point. Stick cruise control back on. Okay, we are halfway through this field. So I'm guessing that triangle there is pretty much most of what we have. Can't see it from that angle, but uh, where are we? We're on, on this field. So that width there is approximately half a field. And then uh, this bit is the other half could draw a straight line. I'm not very good at straight lines. So was the other contract 37 or 38? It's 38, so it's the smaller of the two. That one there, but we still have to come in, I believe. Oh no, we go in across a field, and then up there and through there, and that gets us to 38. I wonder if there's a gate at that end. I think next time we go to the animal dealer, we should probably check on that. So it may be possible to do all of these fields on private land rather than using the main road. I don't know if that's any benefit or not, but it may be possible. So hit the brakes, turn the thing off. Close enough. Let's uh, turn that on. Off we go for the other way. There's our local village and the farm in the background. There we 
could probably turn the lights off. There we go. So I think this field was about 50% of the fertilizer tank last time we did it. Which means we definitely got enough to do 38. We don't necessarily have enough to do 17 on top of that. we might have to go back to the farm and fill the tanks again and that's where having the tanks separate is a good thing because I could put them on on the Ivor Williams trailer and come out with a Land Rover so that we can reload the tractor or the sprayer as we as we do all of our fields oops Oh, no, 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 keep going forwards. Messed up there. Disconnected the GPS, but I forgot. My uh, enhanced driving mod was in reverse, so that causes the tractor to stop because we're going forwards. That could be a little bit more efficient and maybe when the tractor hits the edge of the previous row just say oh don't bother with the rest of the triangle because you're kind of pouring more fertilizer than you actually need to so that was the row we were just on okay start of the next row so we'll do the same thing as we did last time we'll drive until we hit the middle and turn on the guidance steering from there for the rest of the row might finish off all this spraying while I have lunch and then I'll be going out this afternoon and we'll pick up tomorrow with whatever needs to be done I'm sure the sheep probably need to be fed I haven't checked them yet today to do would be to get some more fields because that gives us more things that we need to do for our farm as opposed to everybody else's farm but a lot of the smaller fields are contract fields which gives us opportunities to make money In other ways. Okay, it's on. Make sure we're going forwards and make sure the spray is on. There we go. So, how are we doing? 96%. Good chance that this might be the last row we need to do. We shall see. we go contract on field is done turn off the sprayer fold up the sprayer and get our money because that one pays really nice um, 38 is quite big too so we'll accept that one I will leave the cruise control turned on, or GPS turned on, although I think 38 should be sprayed east-west rather than north-south. So, 
head out of this field very carefully so as not to damage the wheels. Take this up to the next grass field and head across country again. I'm kind of surprised that there's hay on these fields where we did a, we did a silage contract before and some of the grass dried into yeah we cut it when it was dry grass so some of it converted to hay before we could bale it and wrap it and uh, with seasons when it rains the hay is supposed to be destroyed and it hasn't been I think north-south is good, but we'll start from the far end of the field since that's going to be straight along the map edge. Through here and into there and round there. And that is a very nice looking crop of canola. I, I didn't grow any canola this year, so... Uh, I was thinking, I wonder if ours looks like that, but no, of course not, because we didn't grow any. How's that? Oh, that's just fairly close, so uh, we'll call that close enough. And I rolled down the hill a little bit too far, a little bit further than I intended, should I say. Put that there and fold it. And we'll hope it doesn't hit that tree when we start moving. And from this angle. We'll pull the spray boom up a little. Okay, I am going to say we'll call it at this point. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful July 4th with whatever you're planning to do. I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit more from Oakfield Farm, but for now, I'm out of here.